He walked into the dance hall, so scrawny, lean, and tall, surveyed the dancing crowd, and thought them much too loud. The friends who brought him to this place have disappeared without a trace and left him feeling lonesome over all. A pretty girl who caught his eye asked him to dance if he would try. He said, I can't, I'm holding up this wall. He doesn't like to dance, plays basketball in pants, and seldom will he look you in the eye. If he calls you a dope, his mom will wash his mouth with soap. He's got to be a homeschooled guy. His older brother Peter and his oldest brother Paul have never had a taste of alcohol. And little Andrew was rounded for a fake tattoo. The twins James and John were too. His sisters hope, faith, love, and charity all won the statewide spelling bee and run a seam shop from their home. When his mother's not sewing skirts, she's baking bread or mending shirts and teaching Latin to baby Jerome. He doesn't like to dance, plays basketball in pants, and seldom will he look you in the eye. If he calls you a dope, his mom will wash his mouth with soap. He's got to be a homeschooled guy. He doesn't like the notion of shopping just for fun. Mention the mall, and he will likely run. He doesn't own a cell phone, he doesn't see the need. The time he would spend talking, he'd rather use to read. Most girls he meets scare him away. They all seem the same to his dismay. Where he'd find a match, he didn't have a clue. Till one day he met Sally Scone, reading Shakespeare all alone. She was homeschooled too. He doesn't like to dance, plays basketball in Pants, and seldom will he look you in the eye. If he calls you a dope, his mom will wash his mouth with soap. He's got to be a homeschooled guy. He's got to be a homeschooled guy.